Okay, vacuuming a bedroom. First thing I did when I came in, I was going this way. I looked at the carpet and then I turned sideways. And I noticed how much it's pulling up the carpet in this direction. So, I'm going to be backing my way into the room instead of, you know, most people would just carry on this way. But that's not the most effective way to vacuum. And I hate wasting my time because I vacuum slow enough as it is. Guys either call me the vacuum king or the vacuum nut. You know? <laughs> but you can see here, right beside the bed, that's where a lot of dust is coming in. When you get it from the right side, you only have to make a couple passes. You don't have to go up four directions. I have no idea how much weight the stuff is in here. I really don't care. All I do is I watch that line right there. And I watch for the soil coming in. That's all there is to it. Just a steady pattern going across. I found I gotta watch the canister, so using it like a bag vacuum sort of defeats the purpose. So I'm not watching as I'm vacuuming here, I'm just going to it. to do. I've already edged these, but I'm going to run the vacuum right side to the wall. I'm going to vacuum up here. I have to do it this direction into the wall here because I can't obviously do it the other way. Because I can't phase through that wall. Star Trek line, it's been neat. <laughs> so now I can back into this wall corner and vacuum it the right way. So I'm not seeing a lot coming in, so I don't have to slow down. No guesswork. Doing a little longer path here because this is under was under a bed, so it's just going to be light dust. For the video quality, I was watching the vacuum, not the video. So 
somebody else might be able to come in here with a they come in with another vacuum can they pull more soil probably are they going to get a lot probably 